Good morning, everybody, and welcome to your first maths lesson this week. Okay, you're going to need quite a few um, bits and bobs and pieces today. So if you haven't already got them, you're going to need a pencil, some paper, your part hole, tens frames, and some counting objects. Five different things. So if you haven't got all those things ready just yet, press pause now and go get them. Okay, everybody, let's get started. Our first game, I Spy. Here is a new picture for us. A new picture to do some maths and to play some I Spy. So I'm going to I Spy some numbers and I want you to have a good look at this picture and see if you can spot the numbers I'm looking for. Okay? I spy with my little eye something that is five. I spy something that is five. Press pause and have a good look at the picture. Okay, hey, welcome back. So, what did you spot? On the count of three, shout it at the screen. One, two, three. <gasps> oh, oh yes, I had not even thought of that. Here is a five just down here. Can you see? Five pink flowers. Count with me. One, two, Three, four, five. Five flowers. Hmm. I was thinking of a different five. Did anybody see a different five? Shout it at the screen now. <gasps> yes, that's exactly what I was thinking of. Well done. I spotted up here in the sky one, two, Three, four, five birds flying. I spy with my little eye something that is two. I spy something that is two. Press pause and have a good look at the picture and see if you can spot anything that represents two. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, on the count of three, I want you to shout your twos at me. One, two, three. Oh, well done. Yes, there are lots and lots and lots of twos. Um, I heard somebody say there are two people running, two girls running. I heard somebody say that there are Two wheels on the scooter. That's right, that's right. There are one, two people skipping. There are two boys playing football. There are twos absolutely everywhere. Can you see any more twos? Yes, well spotted. Every single person in the picture has a two. One, two shoes. One, two shoes. One, two shoes. I was thinking of this two right here. Can you see? One, two doors. And they've also got one, two circle windows on. Well done, everybody. Okay, one more go. I spy with my little eye something that is six. I spy something that is six. Press pause and have a good look at the picture. What do you see that is six?
Okay, welcome back everybody. So six, a tricky number, six. On the count of three, shout the sixes that you saw at the screen. One, two, three. Oh yes, well done, fantastic. Some of you must have excellent eyesight. Here is a six, right here. Six pink flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done. That's not what I spied. Anybody else see another six? Shout it at the screen in one, two, three. Oh, yes. I'd not even thought of that one. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six windows on the school. Well done. That's still not what I was looking at. Is there another six in this picture? Yes, well done, everybody. We have got one, two, three, four, five, six trees. There are six trees in this picture. Great work. Thanks for playing I Spy. Let's have a look at another puzzle and see if we can calculate by counting on. Here are two girls. They are collecting conkers from the tree. We have Alex and Whitney. Alex found five conkers. So there is our first number, five. Alex found five conkers. Whitney found four conkers. Alex found five conkers. Whitney found four conkers. We need to work out how many conkers the girls found all together. What could we do? Yes, of course, we could count them. That would be the easy way to do it. But these numbers are a little bit bigger than our other numbers. And as numbers get bigger and bigger and bigger, counting everything can take a long time. Can you imagine if our Alex found 50 conkers and Whitney here found 40 conkers? If we were to count all of those conkers, we'd be there for a very long time. Let's try it in a different way. Can you use your two tens frames again. Here are mine, up here. Can you use one to represent the conkers that Alex found and use the other to represent the conkers that Whitney found? Press pause and build those two numbers on your tens frame. Okay, do yours look a little bit like mine? So here is a tens frame representing Alex. I know that it's Alex because I need five conkers. I can see straight away that this tens frame has five because the top row is full. I could count to check. One, two, three, four, five. This tens frame represents Whitney's conkers. There are four in there. I know that because the top row is almost full. One, two, three, four. And how could we calculate? Yes, we could count, but let's have a go at counting on. So here we are again with my tens frames. Here we have Alex's conkers. One, two, 
three, four, five. And here we have witness conkers. One, two, three, four. Now, just as before, we could count all of the conkers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or we could move the conkers onto one tens frame. And again, we could count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But I want to show you this in a different way, a faster way, a more efficient way. Here is our five and here is our four again. We've already counted them. We don't need to count each of these tens frames again. So I'm going to use this label to help me remember how many were on that tens frame. And then we're going to Carry on counting for these ones here. Are you ready? Count with me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine all together. Count again with me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine all together. So now we can say it as a whole number sentence. Alex has five conkers. Whitney has four conkers. Together, they have nine conkers. Five plus four equals nine. Okay, everybody, it's your turn. Here we have two characters. We have Lisa and Ben. Lisa says, I have two sweets. Did you hear me say a number word then? What word did I say? Two. Lisa has two sweets. Ben says, I have six sweets. Did you hear another number word there? Six. So the two number words I've just said are two and six. Using your tens frames, I'd like you to represent the sweets that Lisa and Ben have and have a go at counting on with your grown-up. Label one of the tens frames and carry on counting. Don't waste time counting everything. Press pause, take a picture and send it to us please. So did yours look a little bit like this? Here we have the sweets on this tens frame for Lisa. And here we have the six sweets on this tens frame for Ben. Did you have a go at counting on? So how many sweets were there all together? Eight, well done. Two sweets and six sweets equals eight sweets all together. Good job, everybody. Now, another game. I wonder if you can help me out. I'm going to do some magic, some dice magic. You're going to need paper and a pencil. So here's how the game's going to work. I'm going to roll a dice and you're going to be able to see what's on top of the dice. So you can see this number here. It says five. I'm going to be able to tell you just by looking at this one on top what is hidden 
underneath. Now with your paper and with your pencil, I would like you to draw and represent the numbers that you see. And then I'd like you to do some calculating in a little while. Hopefully you will remember about counting on. Let me show you what I mean. First of all, I shake the dice. And you represent what you can see. And then, with my magical powers, I'm going to tell you that underneath this dice, touching the table, is the number four. Can you represent the number four with your paper as well? So I have three and four. Shall I prove it to you? Are you ready? <gasps> Look at that. There's a four on the bottom. Okay. Let's go for real. So each time I roll, I would like you to represent the number that you see, and then represent the number that I tell you. Okay, here we go. Six, well done. Okay, with your paper and pencil, represent six. Here is mine. And are you ready? Underneath this dice is the number one. Can you represent one on your piece of paper? Here is mine. Shall I prove it to you? Are you ready? <gasps> there it is. The number one. Okay, let's do this one more time. we have, what number do you see? Five, well done. Represent five with your paper. There is my five. Now I'm going to tell you that underneath this dice, touching the table, is the number Two. Can you represent two on your paper? Two. Are you ready? <gasps> Look at that. Two is on the bottom. Hmm, I wonder, I'd like you to press pause and see if you can calculate three plus four, six plus one, five plus two, and see if you can do it by counting on. 
what do you notice about all of those calculations? Press pause now. Welcome back. So what did you notice about all of those dice rolls? What do each of those pairs of numbers equal? That's right. They all equal seven. Three plus four equals seven. Six plus one equals seven. Five plus two equals seven. Roll the dice and count on from the number that you see. That will tell you what's hiding underneath. Just double check that it always equals seven. Well done, everybody. Fantastic work today. You've learned how to add by counting on. Brilliant. We're going to have a look at that again tomorrow in a little bit more detail. Bye for now.